Apple's big announcement is happening in a few days at WWDC. And with the new Code New World campaign, we can assume that Apple's XR glasses are getting closer and closer. This is both exciting and stressful, but we can already take action instead of just waiting by learning how to develop AR experiences. So in this video, I'll show you how to develop an AR application in just five minutes. And this experience is likely to work perfectly with Apple's glasses. We'll use Recite Engine, which is a powerful tool that allows us to develop advanced AR experiences efficiently and quickly while communicating with the environment in real time. So let's start. First thing I do is uh, to open a new Unity 3D project and give it a name. I'll call it YouTube01 or something like that. I'll save it in a specific folder and open it. So after loading, we are getting this default Unity project. And now I need to add Reset Engine to it by dragging the Reset folder to the package folder. I've already downloaded the Reset Engine and unzipped it, so you can do the same after you get access. Uh, don't worry, it's free for indie developers, just sign up and you get everything you need. There's a warning, but you can click yes and ignore it. The engine is now part of Unity. Now I'll go to the package manager and download uh, reset samples. You can choose the sample you want. I go with the mesh and collision sample. So as you can see, everything in the scene is already set up. So there's literally you need to do. Uh, let's see, we have the game manager uh, and pre-made prefabs. Uh, Reset Engine is set up with everything required, so all we need to do is to add a dev key. Uh, you're supposed to get it from Reset when you sign up. And a namespace, which is the name you want to give to this specific app. Now I'll give it a name, uh, like YouTube Test Year One and I'll paste the namespace. Okay, let's just double check everything. Let's see the game manager and double click the prefab. So yeah, this is nice. Now I'll change some settings in the project. You can follow and do the same. Uh, the most important thing is to check Apple Air Kits and switch the platform to iOS. I can also improve the lighting settings. Uh, you can follow this too.
so now I can build and run the app. Uh, I'm using Xcode to build for iPhone. So let's see the result. Um, here's the app and we can open it. now i can start scanning my studio and what you see is a live mesh that is automatically created uh, and this is a real mesh uh, in another video i'll show you how you can export it and play with it so now i want to throw some watermelons and see the interaction I want to change a few things and make a new version where I can see the physical space. The mesh manager is right now uh, set with the normal material and I want to change it to the shadows material so I can see the physical space and see. So that's it, now I can play. Uh, this is nice, right? I'll see you in the next video.